Whistle Sports is a global sports media company. Um, we focus on today's generation of sports fans, which is 13 to 34 year olds. Um, and we provide content that we uh, think is really authentic. It's, it's not live sports, it's everything else. It's behind the scenes and how to and funny and trick shots, video based content. It's mostly short form content, mostly distributed across social media. We have 2,000 social media channels and we reach 350 million young sports fans around the globe. Yeah, so we monetize it by bringing brands into the conversation that we have um, with our fans and, that, uh, and part of Whistle Sports is we have a creator network of 500 video creators uh, and social influencers that are really um, have strong audience bases. And so we bring brands into those discussions through branded social content. Uh, and we also bring now distributors in and create a lot of original content that we're licensing around the world. Yeah, we work with um, major brands, Nike, Under Armour, McDonald's, Pepsi, etc. And um, if they're interested in reaching our demographic, which is sort of millennials and centennials, um, uh, and they want to do it through sports, whether it's you know exercise, fitness, activity, or sort of personality-driven sports, um, we help them create authentic content that's entertaining, but also gets their brand message out in a very engaging way to um, a large audience. It's Sports. a dynamic environment right now. I think um, with the digital platforms like Amazon and Facebook uh, and YouTube getting into bidding for live sports rights, launching TV um, uh, channels essentially, um, and live sports being a big part of that, it's really interesting. I think we don't do live sports for a variety of reasons, but. Um, but well, one of them is the attention span of our demographic is not three hours long, it's three minutes long. So we tend to serve, um, serve them in that way. I think um, we did some research five years ago and saw that with younger age demographics, um, uh, TV ratings for live sports, top five sports in the U.S. were declining. Um, uh, you know, they were, going to, uh, they were going to online, they were going to video games, etc. cetera. So um, I, think, uh, I think part of the answer is going to be Augmented and virtual reality has to take a major part of that. I think it's going to be um, shorter uh, games and highlights, um, but, but the sort of attention span of a three-hour game is declining.